Okay, so I'm going to talk about being engaged because I created a video. I didn't create a video at all. I was having a blind bride meltdown and I recorded it because no one talks about what I was crying about. And so before I released that video, I felt like I needed to talk about being engaged because I need people to know, especially my William, I love you William, um, I need people to know that our relationship is good and the reason I was crying in that video has nothing to do with any kind of strain or any behind the scenes. It's legit just because I was blind. So anyways, I want to talk to you about being engaged. So I met a young man and we have a whirlwind fairy tale love story. You have no idea. So I met this young man. Actually, before that, <laughs> before that, I was going to the Philippines to help at the children's home. While there, I was introduced to this young man. I was introduced to more than one young man, so just so everybody knows. And this young man, we got along very, very well. He has the same priorities in life that I do. Um, I grew up in church, and so to me, church and God and the Bible are very important to me in my life. And so when I am interested in someone as a mate, as a spouse, I want someone with that same priority. And so uh, with this young man, we have the same priorities in life. Um, he's actively involved in his church, and I'm actively involved in our church. And so on so many levels, we are alike. We're the same height. I love that, actually. I really do. Anyways, <laughs> um, I'm actually, I had asked him for pictures, so I'm going to insert pictures here while I'm talking. I don't know how that's going to work with my editor, so if there's silence and then I come back to talking, that's why, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, my laptop, sometimes the voiceover when I'm listening to my computer talking while I'm trying to edit a video, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so we'll see. Anyways, I got engaged to this wonderful young man, and right from the beginning when we were talking to each other, you know, I meet two kinds of people. I meet, well, I meet three kinds of people, but most people fit into the first two groups. The first group is a person who they cannot get over the blindness. So they're like, how do you do this? How do you do that? You do something and they're like, oh, you do that. And, and they can't get past the blindness to who the actual person is. And then you have the other kind. The other kind of person is they avoid any reference to seeing, to sight, to visually impairment, to blindness, to colors, to <laughs> and, and, and both kinds of people are awkward. And it's not their fault. They just never have been around a blind person. And then there's the very few tiny little group in the middle who are amazing people who they see me as a person first who has blindness. I, they see me as a person who has a disability. They don't see the disability in the person. And that's exactly how my adorable and amazing William is. He sees me for who I am. And actually, he can read me. I was talking about this with my mom because I said, you know, I can be having a hard time with somebody, or not with somebody, but with something. Like, I can be having a hard time. And I have a game face on, and everyone else can totally, you know, they think everything is normal, they have no idea. And my mom can tell, but no one else can. Like, siblings, nobody. But William can. And I think, I'm like, wow, that just throws me off. So. He's very attentive to me and my needs. A really cute story about us is we were sitting, talking, getting to know each other, and all of a sudden he says to me, your shoe, and my sneaker had been undone. And before I even knew what was going on, he had gotten down and was tying up my shoe. And, you know, there were lots of moments where he was very helpful, very concerned, and very attentive to me. So I thought that was amazing. Like, he didn't ignore me. He was always paying attention to me, and I thought, Wow, and it was very refreshing because it's very easy to get lost 
in this world, and I don't mean like you wander off. I mean like you can be sitting in a room, a group of friends, and you can be struggling or having a hard time with something, and no one else even notices, and you feel really awkward to have to ask for help. You know what I mean? Because like you want to ask for help, but at the same time, like you don't want to bother anybody, and you don't want to be awkward, and you know. He just noticed moments like that, and so he was always willing to help me, and, um, you know, we talked about a lot of things, and we are just soulmates. Like, I'm telling you, this is the one who God created for me. He is amazing. And so, it's really funny, our whirlwind of story, we went from not knowing each other to engaged in, like... What, 15 days I think around 15 days and so I know there was a lot of people that were concerned <laughs> because you know, like my, my I even had a family member who said you know you can't tell that you're in love with somebody in four days and I want to be like you want to bet <laughs> and so and it's amazing and so our first date was a blind date <laughs> I was blind he was not <laughs> and um, it wasn't a blind date we both knew it was a date but <laughs> I just like throwing that joke in there I'm weird and um, yeah so I'm gonna be talking about different things about that in upcoming videos about what it's like being a blind person in a relationship because a lot of the emotions and feelings that I'm having I'm not noticing other youtubers talking about it and that's the whole reason I started my YouTube channel so I am engaged to the most amazing, wonderful, I call him perfect and he corrects me saying that he's only human and only God is perfect, but he's perfect for me. So stay tuned because eventually I'm hoping to do some YouTube videos with him in the video with me. So hopefully within two or three months, if we're praying hard enough, we'll see that happen. I'm not sure, but anyway, stay tuned. Thank you so much. Like always, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, or you'll have no idea about what my relationship is like, and um, share. I'm definitely trying to raise awareness and um, sharing what life is like as a blind person because there are still so many people who are misconceived because of Hollywood and all of that. So anyways, give it a big thumbs up, and thank you so much. Bye.